Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the Mark 1 Armored Spider-Man Helmet. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be building the entirety of the suit as well as providing you with all the patterns. Links will be in the description of every single video to come. So if you guys want to follow along and build with me, every single video will be Tuesday and Friday for about the next two and a half weeks. And any materials that you guys will need will also be linked in every single one of the videos so you guys can pick them up as you go along. Before we actually get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that right now Zentai Zone is having having a buy one get one free sale for the holidays so if you guys want to pick up your own suit a link will be in the description of this video as well as you could still use my discount code of 15% off which is Pat's Cosplay and that will save you a little bit extra at checkout. So basically you'll be able to get two suits for the price of about 120 Canadian dollars. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, but with all that said, let's get into today's video. All right, to start off, you're gonna to wanna to take the template that is linked in the description of the video, grab your five millimeter EVA foam, transfer the design over to the EVA foam. To get the other side, all you have to do is flip the pattern so that you can have a perfect symmetry of the pattern. After that, you're going to want to cut out the design. There will be a couple spots that you'll have to do angle cuts. I've put arrows on all the ones that have to have the angle cuts. This, you can use a craft knife. You can also use scissors if you're really good with using scissors. You don't necessarily need the craft knife. It just makes it a little bit simpler. All right, as you can see here, I'm going to be doing the angle cuts. You just go on a 45 degree angle, cut out the one side, and that's it. I'm using Super 77 spray to attach everything. This worked decently, but if you happen to have barge contact cement, that's the best thing that I've ever seen for con for attaching things together. This one works decently, but it definitely took a little bit of finicky and it worked out. So this is definitely a tight fit. If so, if you have a 22 inch size head, this will fit you pretty much perfectly. If anything, I would oversize this by about just one times up, making it like 1.1. It'll fit you absolutely perfectly. This little chin strap definitely holds in the chin very tightly. All right, after that, we are going to make the small detail pieces. This, we're just using one millimeter foam, transfer the pattern over, cut it out, and start. I use super glue to attach it. You can use any sort of glue to attach it to the helmet. And this will be your final product. And after all of that, you should have your own armored Spider-Man helmet. If you want to do something different for the lenses, you can make them yourself. I actually just happened to have an extra set of lenses that didn't have magnets on them. Again, I could have just put magnets on them and used a previous set of lenses, but I just happened to have an extra pair, so I decided to throw it on there. If you wanted to make your own, just go ahead and Google the Amazing Spider-Man 2 lenses, print it out on a piece of paper, trace it out, use, I would use the same foam as this one, which is five millimeters as the rim. And then for this one, I would go with some sort of uh, mesh material. You can get them off of well, AliExpress, Amazon, there's a lot of different places that you can get it. So when I have everything built, I'm going to be doing some leak seal or Plasti Dip on it, depending on which one I have available to me. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint everything for one entire video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button for more videos all related to cosplay. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Uh-oh. Yeah. <sighs>